So I believe that food is before everything. It's a fantastic and amazing way to communicate and to break borders. Food always brings a smile to people's face when it's cooked with love. Just the simple pleasure of eating something delicious makes everyone happy. The philosophy of Odette is always to put the ingredients and the produce first. I believe that there is no good cuisine without good ingredients and really good products. The DNA and the backbone of the cuisine remain French because that's the way I have learned and that's the way I like to cook. But slowly, we started to introduce a lot of Asian twists by the technique, by the ingredients, by the flavor. It's influenced by the way people eat here. So we call it a journey of discovery because it's really what it is for me. It is discovery of ingredients, a new palette of flavor to do recipes and use ingredients that are new to us. I was very impressed by the quality of what we taste and the diversity of Korean ingredients. So the main dish that we decided to do three kind of different plates, which is a discovery of Korea and the way people eat in Korea as well. So we have this Korean pine mushroom. There is somehow a natural kind of smokiness and the texture is really interesting because it has this kind of chewiness in a very pleasant way that accentuates the taste of the mushroom itself. It almost smells like a forest when you open the box and when you just season with salt, a little bit of butter, grill it, we concentrate the taste into the mushroom and that's how the flavor comes out the best. So we have this beautiful Korean pine mushroom with the Jeju abalone. They are sitting on a bed of potatoes. We use Kamte powder to season crushed potatoes. And then we finish it Grenoble style with crouton and capers. We wanted to explore Korean rice. So the Korean rice is very different from other rice and it is more rounded. For me, the perfect level of stickiness. So this rice can be easily flavored with anything and it has this natural sense of sweetness that goes very, very well with the mushroom and the burdock. The white flower mushroom, I found the flavor are very intense. That's the reason why we decide to rehydrate them and to use the water to cook the rice. So the flavor is very refined and very intense. We then finish it with sesame seeds, sesame oil. It's a beautiful sesame oil. I found the flavor to be very strong and super long lasting in your palate. Sometimes you have sesame oil that are strong and short in flavor. This one is all about length. It lasts very long time and it has a sense of finesse that I rarely see in other sesame oil and we do a little fried burdock skin so we bring a nice little crunch. The third component of the dish is a banchan. So those are made with Korean radishes that we shape beautifully and we serve with some pickles cucumber and pickles pear. And then we made a dressing which is made of spring onion and inside we intensify the flavor with the crab sauce. So the first time I tried the crab sauce, wow, it's very punchy, it's very strong. It's really like a slap on your face, but in a good way. So it has a very interesting, natural crab strongness complexity, and it can really bring a lot of power to any dish. For the dessert, the main dessert is a cheesecake. We make the base with crumble and pine nuts. I was super impressed by the quality of those pine nuts because I rarely encounter very intense and very clean flavor of pine nuts. Then we have a cheesecake mousse with yuja cream, which has the perfect balance between sourness and acidity. And everything is topped 
with the shine muscat, which I think the texture is very nice. The sweetness is just perfect. And I wanted to make sure that I don't destroy the texture. So the only thing we do is to cut them into small pieces. And the way we built it on the dessert, we can keep the crunch and the nice surprise of sweetness. So we have cheesecake that will be served with a sorbet made of Korean melon. So we really turn the melon several times every eight days to have the perfect ripeness all over the melon. And once we reach this ripeness, we do the sorbet. So we fix the melon at its best, at its peak. It's really the perfect balance to enjoy the cheesecake with a nice scoop of the sorbet. Odette has always been about bringing terroir to table and bringing heart to plate. You have a lot of beautiful acidity oil. You have amazing seafood, fruits and vegetables that I love to use in traditional recipe. So I like when the backbone of the recipe is somehow traditional with a very classic cooking. I like to bring some excitement and some finesse and some refinement with Asian twist and those Korean ingredients would be perfect 